In January 2024, you will relinquish command of two Marine Expeditionary Force Information Group. Signed, Christopher J. Mahoney, General, United States Marine Corps, Comma of the Marine Corps, Acting. Ready, base. From Comma of the Marine Corps to Colonel Ian C. Fletcher. Subject, Assumption of Command. Effective 10 hundred eleven January 2024, you will assume command of two Marine Expeditionary Force Information Group. Signed, Christopher J. Mahoney, General, United States Marine Corps, Commandant of the Marine Corps, Acting. Ready, peace. Oh, 
shoulder. Arms. Forward. Arms. Forward. Arms. Two Marine Expeditionary Force Information Chief, Headquarters Company. All present, work accounted for. Two Marine Expeditionary Force Report Battalion. All present, work accounted for. Any
emotional passing of command. The battle colors of a Marine Corps unit symbolize the authority and accountability of command. Transferring the colors during the ceremony symbolizes the relinquishing of command by Colonel Takagi. And by accepting the colors, Colonel Fletcher accepts command and confirms his total commitment to the Marines and sailors that he will command. Sergeant Major Miller is delivering the colors to the commanding officer. Freeze it! Arm! familiar with the Carolina MAGTAF, tell me you are not motivated, not only by what you see out here, but what you're <laughs> listening to across the river. I mean, that is like something else going on over here. I don't know which one of you planned it, but helicopters spinning, Marines training, you know, it's uh, it's unbelievable. Good morning, everyone. It's great to see everybody. You, you two have a lot of friends. Uh, uh, I didn't know that about you two. I mean, I'm seeing cats and dogs out here that I hadn't seen in a while. It's pretty impressive. You keep good company. Welcome all, uh, commanders, and sergeant majors, master gunner sergeants, sailors, and marines, distinguished guests. I've got several general officers here that represent the MAGTAF. Um, general Trollinger from Marsoc, all here, and his his team. Wonderful to see you all this morning. Um, I've got to give a shout out to, uh, and I'm not going to steal your thunder here, but I've got to give a shout out to Sergeant Major Miller. And these Marines and sailors that are standing out here before you. One, uh, as in fine fashion of the second MIG, they look fantastic and their mission accomplishment is off the charts. But they did so in the middle of what I would call hurricane season part two. <laughs> because if you didn't know, or I know you know that we had a great storm on Tuesday, but what you didn't know is in 30, like 30 knot winds, Sergeant Major, about that? 30 yeah, knot winds? He's out here with the Marines going through close order drilling ceremony. So how about a round of applause for these Marines? Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Uh, I'll make my uh, remarks very brief. Uh, this organization is an essential ingredient to the MAGTAF. It's an essential ingredient to who we are as Marines. It is absolutely an essential part of how we fight and I cannot tell you, it would take me all morning to give you the list of accomplishments over, over the last two years of what they have done and what they've meant to two combatant commands in crisis. Um, we'd be here all morning. But simply to say that what these men and women represent uh, are truly what I think makes Marines different in the way we fight, in the way we think. Um, information that is provided to commanders 
at a critical point to put on the X where we want it or in a place of friction where we want to influence. And it happens through each one of these organizations, intertwined and then supportive to the MAGTAC. It's tremendous. Really, really uh, amazing uh, stuff. And under a phenomenal commander, it only achieves even greater uh, accomplishments. And Koichi, you've done that. I mean, I, we've had a great conversation over a cup of coffee. And uh, I can't thank you enough for what you've done under your command with these Marines as a team that you've created. And I thank you for that on behalf of all of us. Thank you very much. And your lovely wife. Oh, by the way, so they, the Kagis live on Seth Williams, which is, you know, as you go down towards Paradise Point. And oh, each one of these uh, yards have like little signs out so you know where everybody lives. Uh, a couple weeks ago, two weeks ago, I'm driving down the road and I'm like, holy crap, did they leave already? The sign's down, the stuff's off the porch, the doors are closed, the blinds are done. And I went, holy mackerel, he left. <laughs> We're supposed to have a change of command, he literally left. So I don't know if that was your doing, like early move motions and things going on, but, but again, uh, on behalf of all of the families and all of us at TUMAP, thank you for your love and support to your husband, your beautiful family, the contributions to your Marines and sailors. Can't say enough about you and your, and your lovely family, so thank you very much. I wish you uh, the greatest adventure here coming up on your life. It's gonna be phenomenal. Um, and I'm really, your right place, right time, right person. You fit that perfectly for the Commandant, for the United States Marine Corps, and more importantly, for you know, our partners and allies. You're gonna be phenomenal. And I can't wait to see how that all shakes out. Ian and, and, and uh, Monica, welcome. Uh, you've got your family here, you've got your uh, nephew here, your uh, mother-in-law, fantastic. Um, son at West Point, right? Yep, freshman? Yes, sir. Okay, maybe we'll bring him over to the dark side. We'll see what happens. Right? <laughs> I know that's gonna be a fight, but. Uh, Welcome to the Tumef family. Really, uh, he didn't travel very far. You know, he's a, a, a Marsakian, so I think he swam over here this morning, came out, uh, you know. But uh, welcome to the family. I'm really looking forward to working with you in the next couple of months, and, and welcome to the family. Great. Okay, it's all yours. Well done. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, good morning. Thank you, it's an incredible crowd here. It shows the reach and the breadth and the impact that the make has on everyone. Could, we, could I ask you to help me uh, applaud the Second Marine Division band today? What an incredible crowd. <laughs> the MIG is live fire in competition. It's the first called in crisis and it is decisive in conflict. This formation here represents over 2,800 sailors and Marines of the MEF Information Group. We have Marines operationally employed every day, actively engaged against threats to security in Europe, Africa, and the Middle East. Their exquisite capabilities, as many of the folks here know, their exquisite capabilities are the future of warfare. Cognitive effects, electromagnetic spectrum operations, cyber and space-based capabilities, our hallmark will continue to be our ability when called upon to apply extreme violence of action and devastating fires against our nation's enemies. But the skills of these sailors and Marines allows those, makes our team more precise, more devastating, and can be decisive on their own on the modern battle space. This ceremony is not for, for me and for Ian. It's about giving these Marines a sense of the identity for who they are and to broadcast to you, to show you who the Marines of the 2nd Mech Information Group are. If I could ask you to give a round of applause for the Marines of the Information Group. <laughs> Sir, I, I very sincerely thank you. General Adignan, Sergeant Major Wilson, who couldn't be here today, the 2 MEF staff and all of our friends here for your leadership, your mentorship, your patience with me. I, I, didn't, I didn't know that at 52 years old, I was still capable of as much learning as I've done here, but I've grown tremendously um, through my time here. And I deeply, deeply appreciate that from every one of you. Sergeant Major Miller, uh, Colonel Select Everly, Colonel Select uh, LaPointe, uh, Sergeant Major Turner, uh, the most profound mentors and advisors I've ever been able to work with as a professional and as, as a human being. You have helped me 
uh, to develop and to command this formation uh, with, uh, to, to the success they've achieved. The success of Marines is really a uh, credit also to the MiG commanders and to their staffs. Uh, they're highly technical uh, members and enlisted leaders across the formation. They are the most talented and dedicated group of individuals I have ever worked with. I, I thank every one of you sincerely for, for pouring your, every, all, your knowledge, your skills, and, and every ounce of what you have into the success of the MiG. Thank you. My children, John and Christopher, are the pride of my life. They are successful and motivated in their life goals. I, they have sacrificed so much, though, that we could serve. Uh, they went to three different high schools in three different countries. They followed us around, and thank you so much. I'm so proud and, and so happy that you're here with us today. Melissa and I move on Monday to our 17th postal address. After spending 10 years overseas, 10 years on the East Coast, and 10 years in California or the West Coast in some fashion. She's been patient with me and served the Marines well in many roles. Thank you for everything you have borne for our 29 years together. I love you dearly. Colonel Ian Fletcher, Fletcher is taller, smarter, and better looking than I am. <laughs> He brings an astonishing wealth of experience and strategic thought to the MiG. I truly believe there is no one better suited for this position. I wish you and Monica the very best. Thank you, thank you again. Um, to the team, sir, thank you, ma'am. To the generals and flag officers that are here, to the MARSOC team, uh, I appreciate your support, because that's what I'm gonna need. If you look behind me, this is a small representation of the Marines that are forward, deployed, and engaged in the information battle now. And you all, from my family, friends, and mentors from across the Marine Corps, are gonna be the ones that help us bring these Marines further into the fight and uh, bring us to bear along with our soft partners and uh, the rest of the Carolina MAGTAP. This is my first trip to the Carolina MAGTAP, cost us a little money to bring in the, uh, the demonstration, but I think it's worth it. I'll play Powerball next week to see if we can round that out um, and hopefully raise our budget a little bit. To the Marines of Two Mids, this is an honor. Um, I was not one normally before thrown away. You took a task and you mastered that, which is exactly what uh, multi-domain warriors are supposed to do. So I'm privileged and I'm honored. Um, we'll have a chat in the next few weeks. But stay on azimuth, and uh, these folks behind me are going to help you and help us bring more value to this force. Thank you. We'll see you in a bit. All right. All right. are being presented to the families of Colonel Takagi and Colonel Fletcher for their continuous dedicated service to the Marines, sailors, and their families. position in the reviewing area is two Marine Expeditionary Force Information Group Commanding Officer, Colonel Ian Fletcher.